Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're doing well today. Today I would like to talk to you about a new vulnerability that came out in Log4J or as some people like to call it Log4Shell right now because remote code execution basically came out. Now the remote code execution, it consists of an attacker sending a user agent gndi.evil.nuke. So, so it's basically an LDAP attack based on the user agents that are being sent along those headers. And it's really important that you upgrade your version if you're running on a version of less than 2.1.5 um, RC2. So that's 2.1.50 RC2. Um, but make sure that you have at least that version running or if you can't for some reason, because of course there might be some uh, organiza organizational reasons, you can always set the system property log for j 2format message no lookups to true. If your version is less than 2.10, then remove the GNDI clause from the class path. So those are some of the recommendations that we have. I'll also put a link to a proof of concept in the description so you can test if your installation is vulnerable. And I'll also put some more information like a, um, a great informational graphic explaining how this attack works and what you can do to disable it or to um, get around this issue. Also, a last thing you can do is you can block requests that have user agents with JNDI in them as uh, with a WAF, of course. That's also possible. And the last thing you can do is you can disable log4j, but I don't think most people want that. Or you can disable remote code bases, but I also think, I don't think that's uh, the solution for everybody. But again, I'll put some more information in the description. The most important thing to remember is upgrade, guys. If it's less than 2.1.50, make sure that you are secure because you don't want to fall victim to this. This is basically an LDAP attack. Um, and it's going to lead to things like remote code execution, which you really don't want on your server, unless you're some kind of lunatic like me, um, which has a server called hexpert.com where you can go click on labs and actually hack it. Thank you very much, amazing hackers. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.